People ask me the most interesting questions, both from a therapist's perspective and from individuals who have experienced PTSD themselves. So I, I got a recent question by email from a therapist and the therapist asked me, how do you help somebody who self-diagnoses from the internet and goes on to explain that clients that they deal with read up on the internet and then self-diagnose and that they have everything from PTSD, bipolar disorder, OCD and other problems and they don't have a note from their physician or specialist. Nobody's really told them that this is an accurate diagnosis and of course they label themselves and the individual who's writing me, the counselor says, I find it difficult to help someone who seems to have everything going wrong with them. How do you assist someone who self-diagnoses? And what I wanna address is actually that in a lot of ways this can be a good thing because you have somebody who is in fact taking the time to better understand what's going on with them. It's quite a common experience for most therapists and I do understand the frustration. However, this individual who wrote into me mentioned two separate issues. One is self-diagnosis, sometimes correct, sometimes incorrect, and the other thing is comorbidity. When an individual actually has multiple diagnoses, making it very difficult to effectively develop a working treatment plan. So when you're working with someone who self-diagnoses, and I don't really actually mind this myself because I see it as somebody trying to figure things out, like has gone wrong with me, what are my symptoms, and this has actually some merits. So sometimes if they've got it wrong, I like to look at the actual symptoms and understand what might have been missed, um, if there's anything else that might be important to suggest or focus on. And in fact, because of the internet, consumers of mental health services have become much more sophisticated and educated. And I believe that this is power. And if they're incorrect, I simply try to figure out ways to look at more accurate diagnoses and correct interventions. I work with a lot of clients who have many di diagnoses and I want to make sure, I always want to make sure that the individual gets the right care in a timely manner. And you know, in order for that to happen, we have to cr correctly diagnose we have to look at the right treatment approaches and we have to better understand what is the struggle that they are dealing with. So if I'm dealing with somebody who has PTSD but also panic disorder and is struggling with a substance abuse, I absolutely need to look at the panic disorder and address that and the substance abuse because it's gonna undermine the outcome of the care cycle and this becomes really, really important as well. So I wanna look at the whole uh, package and understand all the things that could be undermining recovery and I hope you do too, both for yourself if you're struggling with these things and if you're a therapist who's looking at a complex case and really wants to help.